Hello, this is the Lego Friends Vacation Beach House set. I bought it for $80 US, its regular retail price, and I built it live over on Twitch. This comes with only four mini dolls, but also a couple of animals, a few vehicles, and plenty of accessories, of course, to go around. Let me show you what this looks like. Speaking of going around, this looks like from some different angles. The main reason that I personally was interested in this set is that it looks like it goes with the style of the Main Street building, which is a friend set from this year that I really, really liked. So I wanted to check out the modularity of moving the different rooms around and also see how this would be compatible with the Main Street building, if at all. So we'll check into that later after first looking at the details of what is here. Let me focus on the stuff that's built up first and I'll start from the shore where there's a small island with some sand and a palm tree out there. The water is shown in kind of a wave format where it's like, it, you know, the, the waves are coming onto the beach. It's a different way. It's a little bit stylized how they did that. I like what they're trying there, you know? It's, it's cute and makes enough sense even if it's not completely realistic. Got a little bag of some fresh fruits over here. Just a small umbrella. Those represent shells around on the, on the beach and there's a little bit of a platform out here a little bit of a balcony uh, or a deck I guess you could say where there's some table tennis now that is done with some stickers the way that they designed this table just a couple of stickers on some two by three tiles and I think that works really well I think that looks very good and yeah you know, you're pretty pretty much fully set up to play a game there on the opposite side there is a dock and the dock has a uh, lifesaver <laughs> ring and this is actually supposed to be an air pump for pumping something up which I will show you later got another palm tree over there using the coral color for the the flower I like that quite a bit and then just looking at the outside of the building this is one module here but it won't move this is one module here but it won't move found that out very very quickly only the top portions of this are able to move around so it's already not as compatible as i thought it would be with the module with the main street building which i really really liked again can't say enough good about it did a full review on it uh, or the the other set the the uh, veterinary care center set that they came out with this year but inside okay the design looks nice and inside there's plenty of detail you even have a little bit of detail up on the roof you could you know come up here and, and folks can enjoy the flowers you got a solar panel up here and a spot where you can just lounge i think this is supposed to represent a a rooftop pool here you know like an infinity pool so imagine that it's all full of water i think that's what they're going for there but I, it's not too convincing to me i don't feel like there's water there but inside there's a bedroom that's a very nice small lamp build over there they use a sticker for a little bit of detail on the wall here which is perfectly fine i think sticker on the detail or on the wall for detail here for the bathroom a little bit of suggestion of privacy of the ability to bring down some venetian blinds and just a small shower and that's supposed to represent the toilet over there on this side another bedroom this one has bunk beds so sticker is used just to represent the the covers being folded back right there and again stick around the wall and this takes you out to another outdoor patio space or mezzanine space where you can hang out uh, enjoy the view take a look at some and or take care of some plants here and they also have just a minifig accessory that happens to be there in the form of a brightly colored camera now down on the ground floor you have this entertainment center this is a tv people are uh, playing a, a, a racing game there. I got a couple of game controllers. There are the dual molded ones, the really nice ones that first came out in the Ninjago Prime Empire season. These have the dark pink color, like the hot pink color and black dual molded together. So really high quality stuff there. Another plant in the back, a small rug there. And then this is cool because this is actually a convertible piece of furniture right here. You can pick this up right now by default. It can't be changed around until you pick it up. You pick it up. And it has a hinge on it, so you do like this. And then you can potentially use it as a bed or you know, just a different style of furniture. That's pretty nice. And then this is the, the main opening, the main kind of lobby area that actually says welcome from the other side. I'll try to show you what that looks like from the other side. But this is the kitchen area, which is pretty important. And there's a stove, this is stove on top, oven down below. Almost looks like it's a fridge. You could pretend it's a fridge if you want to, but over on the other side, Hey, 
I like that watermelon prints. Can't get too many of those. A little bit of detail added with stickers behind the shelf here, which is nice. You know, it just adds a little bit more depth to it. They've got a suggestion that the watermelon is being sliced open and there's a sink over there as well. Inside of the, the drawer here, you also get some utensils, including the new for this year, silver color for the fork. We've had the spoon in that color before. The other drawer has a cleaver. Regarding the modularity of the rooms that I mentioned early on, so this can pop up and this can also pop up and that's about the end of it. I mean, you can take this off and then if you have something else that's small, it'll fit into that space, but otherwise you can take these off and then put this up here so this will stack up and that's, you know, that's something different. It does look okay. Then you have to take the other roof portions that you got kind of try to cover up what's remaining up here and it's not really going to cover up the whole thing like that you know this is different this is definitely different but it's not like you're going to be able to do this then because that's not going to work that's just not going to you know <laughs> it's just not going to work but uh, if if i wanted to i could also take this and put it over on this side and we'll fit in there you know this will fit here it's a little bit awkward but it is technically possible, could put this here. This isn't gonna even take up the entire space. So there is some reconfigurability that's possible here, which is definitely a good thing. Like that's not even a bad look, right? I just wish that there was more that you could do like with other modular based things, such as the Main Street building, that's excellent. To get that though, you need to be able to take these off and these are not able to be removed without completely disassembling the whole thing. Now you can pull this apart, so that's good. And technically they've got the, uh, the Technic pin holes available on the side, so this can be moved around from side to side. But you have this extra height here, that's the problem that keeps this from being compatible with other things that are designed similarly. This is a very small, very basic water scooter, but I think it works just fine. It can technically hold two people on it. It's colorful and the shape makes sense. It has a long line that leads to this floating banana boat thing. And this is what you would pump up with the air pump that's back at the, at the dock. This does hold only one person on it, unfortunately. Not two, it's not long enough, not set up to, to hold two. <laughs> It just seems like a fun type of thing. But so ultimately this becomes an activity that up to three people can be involved in together. And the interesting thing here is how they did the stem with the black colored sausage or hot dog, pe hot dog piece that goes through. And these two halves are attached with studs on the side construction. That studs go on the actual sides as well as on the top. It's just, it's just interesting and, and different. Also included are two different colors of scooters, so they really did not cheap out on, on transportation, modes of transportation. So when you're on vacation, you're still able to get around and make connections with other parts of town, which can be you know, represented by other sets. That's, that's good, the suggestion that you don't just go to this place and stay there, you go to other places that you also have. Then there are these two animals, one for land and one for sea. This is just an existing mold for the dolphin, but it continues to look very nice. The color there is light royal blue, and the base color for this adult cat is dark orange. The printing looks good. Each one has a mini peg hole on it to attach accessories if you have any. And yeah, it's never a bad thing to include extra animals with any set in any theme, in my opinion. Looking at minifigures, here are Mia and Elijah. I personally have not tracked and followed the characters from the Friends line, so I don't know, you know, one version from the next and who's who, you know, how they connect to other things, so I can't really speak to any of that. I can just say that, well, both of these look good to me, and... I like the accessory that's included there. I need to get more of that piece myself. And don't forget, for folks who are not interested in mini dolls at all, at the very least, the hair pieces are compatible with Lego mini figs. And then here are Sebastian and Stephanie. And both of these look fantastic to me, especially this one here for Sebastian with the torso, uh, with just a, a really, really great print that goes all the way around. I mean, I don't know why Lego doesn't try to do this for their mini figs, because they show right here that they have the capability to do this. 
high quality printing, dual molding there, by the way, that torso is dual molded. The shirt is its own injection of plastic to get that nice white that actually works really well. And the strap on the top of the shirt wraps all the way around and look, the shirt also printing wraps all the way underneath the, the, the arm there. I mean, it's just a tiny little bit of gap under there, but this is definitely showing that Lego has some capabilities to do some stuff that they act like they can't do. They cannot do on minifigs. And I'm a little bit jealous as a person who's more into minifigs, traditional minifigs. Now, in addition to the accessories that I've shown you here, they do have two helmets, one in this color. The other one is in dark azure for the for the scooters and then they also have three of this piece to spare and one last thing that kind of didn't have a specific place to go up to this point is this guest book right here and it's just a sticker on a tile but it's a nice thing it has some good detail in it you get in close you can recognize some of what what it's trying to say the spare parts here are very bright and colorful and cool and look at that i asked for an extra one of these i got an extra one of these extra slice there the watermelon slice like there's some good stuff here including the brand new color of the fork yeah this is this is a nice selection and this is what the sticker sheet looked like the entire sticker sheet is clear backed unfortunately by today's standards the price of 80 dollars us for this does not seem absolutely outrageous however the price over in the uk of 60 british pounds suggests that there's some some meat on the bone some some room for the us price to be cut by retailers there's some room for this to be put on sale so i would personally definitely recommend that you wait for this to go on sale there's a very very strong chance that it that it will if you're if you're in the u.s at, at least but honestly i probably gave this more of a hard rap and hard uh, more of a, a rough time while i was going through it than it deserves it is designed for kids aged seven and up seven and up and though i personally was really looking forward to using all of the modules and being able to interchange them with the main street building over here that I keep talking about, can't stop talking about, because it's so darn cool. I can interchange some of the modules and I can interchange a bunch of the modules without having another set. Just with the set that I'm reviewing here today, I can interchange some stuff. And it actually, you know, it actually works out pretty decently well. And, and having this system, even if this system is only gonna last this year, which I hope it doesn't, I hope that they continue to allow exactly this to be done and honestly they've done this a fair number of times in the past in, in the friends line i think that it's very good i think that it's an excellent start for encouraging creativity and encouraging kids to you know try to do something other than just what's shown on the on the box try to do something other than what's shown in the default instructions you know for for a given kit so the other option other than well there are three options right one is what you got here, limited rearrangeability within the one set, but good interoperability with other sets. Another would be full rearrangeability where the base, which has to be thick, they wanted the base to be thick to represent raised land, and I'm okay with that. But the base could have stayed, and then these lower levels, these lower level sections could have been liftable. They could have been removable. The other option is no configurability whatsoever, which is kind of the, the default. So this is way better, way better than that option. And I honestly think that it's pretty good. The stuff that is here, it, you know, it's, it's accessible. It does look great to me. Could have used more figures, I think, for the size of this. More figures, less vehicles. Although, again, I do respect the choice to include vehicles and, you know, things for the figures to go out and interact with other other places like like, like I talked about before. So overall, good set, overpriced, at least in the US, I think in the UK, much more reasonably priced. And I hope that they will continue to do more good stuff in the friends line. You know, it's kind of ebbed and flowed, at least in my personal opinion, but generally has been pretty strong and where they are right now is very good. Happy with it. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.